Hey everybody, it's Master Dave here with the House of Warriors Martial Arts and Kickboxing. And today is episode 24, we're almost at a quarter, 24 of the Warriors Mindset. It's all about the Black Belt Mindset. All right, so what am I talking about? Now last week you heard where I talked about that you know, we have to think like a black belt, that everything's a little different. So recently, last weekend, I had just uh, finished our, our, our MATS, our Martial Arts Training Summit. And it's just what we code name it, but it's basically our black belt experience. Now, the black belt itself, and why I believe in it as a mindset for success in life, not just physical applications, that's on our Warrior Wisdom episode. So. The mindset of it, I had to train very hard to get a black belt. A lot of people have this misconception that we train as martial artists and just because you've earned a certain belt level, we're obliged to be a black belt. And it's not exactly the case. So here, here's what it is. When you get to say third gup or third Q in Japanese martial arts, we, we use a Korean base, so third gup. That's like two belts, three belts before black. So for some of us it's red or brown. So you have two belts of red or two belts of brown and a half red, half black, or half red, half, half brown, half black. And then you go through another process to go to black belt. So there's this whole concept of like when you get to like third cup with me, I make you work out for a year privately with me in a small group. Because it's not just knowing the material, it's how to perform the material. But the one thing I'm looking for are you a black belt here? Anybody can physically master techniques. That's a fact. You can physically master it and understand it, but not everybody can master this. And I've seen top, top performers that when I put them through the ringer and I say, yeah, that's good enough, but you gotta do it better. Yes, that's okay, but I'm looking for outstanding. And they just throw the things down and say, forget it. And they quit and they go. And that's okay, it wasn't for them. Sometimes they come back. Sometimes they work with me again, and they, they understand the process. And then the most unlikely of student, the one you wouldn't know that could do it, ends up being the one who gets the black belt, because they just last, and they understand the process. And it's a process. Now think of that um, in, in success. Henry Ford had a process of success. He failed a lot before getting to the Model T and getting to finally what he thought would be a great car. He he understood he had like a ritual, so he knew I have to do this at this time of the day, I have to make sure I have this at this time of the day, I have to make sure I bring this for myself. And when you look at it, it was the five rules of happiness that I shared with a while ago. He brought time for himself, didn't care about criticism, didn't care what people said about him. He did it for him, and then because of that, he was able to help a lot of people. So in the black belt mindset, this is for me, and I'm not here to impress my mom, my dad, my parents, my wife, my kids, or anybody, it's for me, this is my thing. And when they understood it's your thing, and I'm here to help you, then the whole barrier fell down, and they were more receptive to the instruction. So this weekend, I had there was a 16-year-old girl, she's a wonderful person, and I trained her, and she's not always been like uh, very, very uh, sharp at it. It took her a while to get good, and that's okay. Not everybody's a superstar, but they get to be superstars by practice. And I read her questionnaires, her surveys, I do this, and, and I looked at what was in her head, and the one thing that was evident when I presented that belt, not so much that, when I gave her the certificate, and it was official, the belt is, is, is okay, it feels good, but a certificate, like 11 by 17, given to you, and you're reading it, and it says you have successfully completed habits and, and, and training beyond that of an average student. Think of that, beyond that of an average student. It was powerful to her, and she was happy. It was the first natural smile I've ever, ever seen her do. And I think it was this attitude of like, this is to all the people said I couldn't do it. And she did it, as well as the rest of the group. They were outstanding. So, my friends, it's like this. Whatever you do, if it's for you and it's positive, you're gonna take anything out of that and apply it and you're gonna be successful in whatever you do. And I know that these people, these kids, these adults, these moms, these dads, these cousins, these brothers, these sisters, are gonna be very successful at what they do later on in life. All right, that's Master Dave. Hope you enjoy the Warrior Mindset. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Please enjoy the show. Have a kicking day.